Is cosmetic surgery worth it? Well, I'm going to answer that question in this video. Cosmetic surgery, aka plastic surgery, was once the preserve of the rich and famous. Nowadays, though, prices have come down and it's within reach of almost anyone. And the most popular procedures done these days, according to WebMD.com, are lipoplasty, also known as liposuction, eyelid surgery, breast implants, nose jobs, facelifts, and Botox injections. And the thing is, if these procedures are expensive in your own country, you can always go to another cheaper country for your surgery. And there are lots of countries around the world where a good part of their economy is actually based on foreign cosmetic surgery. Uh, countries like Mexico and Brazil, uh, Spain, Croatia, Turkey, India and Pakistan, uh, South Africa. They're all countries where people can go and get cosmetic surgery done because it's cheaper than in their home countries, especially if you live in the US or the UK or Australia or countries like that where these sort of procedures can be quite expensive. And of course, you can get cheap air travel to these places. So, you know, the, the fact that people can travel around more and you can book this stuff over the internet has made it much more available to a lot more people than it used to be years ago. So we come back to the original question, is cosmetic surgery worth it? Well, it depends. So let's look at the pros and cons. Let's look at the pros. Well, first of all, cosmetic surgery will improve your appearance. That's the whole point, isn't it? And when you look better, you feel better, you feel better about yourself, and that gives your confidence a boost. And cosmetic surgery can make you look younger, especially if you have a procedure like a facelift or you have Botox. And of course, if you uh, look younger, if you look uh, healthier, then you have better career prospects. You know, you reach a certain age and... Um, employers don't really consider you anymore. You appear to be past it. But sometimes if you look younger, if you look healthier, then your career prospects are going to be better. And of course, it can make you more attractive to prospective partners as well. And of course, there are some medical advantages to having cosmetic surgery. For example, you might breathe better after a nose job if you uh, had difficulty breathing because of the shape of your nose, then you might be able to breathe much better once you've had that attended to. And dental implants may help you chew better. You know, if you've had some teeth extracted in the past, you might not be able to eat as healthily as somebody who's got a full set of teeth. So if you've had dental implants, then uh, that can help. You might have a better diet and that can improve your general health and your general appearance as well. And of course, there's reconstruction following an accident. So if you've been in a car crash or some other work-related accident that's left you disfigured, perhaps you were burned or scalded or had cuts and bruises and all sorts of other things have gone wrong, broken bones perhaps, broken nose, you can have that reconstruction done and it can not only make you look better, but it can also make you function better as a human being. But of course, there are always a downside. So let's look at the cons. And the biggest downside is the cost. And unless it is for medical reasons, then most insurance won't cover it. Most health services in countries around the world where they have um, the government pays your health costs, uh, they probably won't pay for it either because it's considered to be uh, not something that is particularly necessary. So you will have to meet the full cost of it uh, out of your own pocket. 
And even if you do go to a country where it's cheaper than your home country, you still have to pay for it. So there is always a cost involved and it can be quite substantial. Then there's the risk, the risk of anything going wrong during the surgery. I mean, you know, cosmetic surgery is no different from any other type of surgery in that respect that something might go wrong while you're having the operation done and that might need to be corrected and there is a risk you know, a risk to life in some cases and there also in some countries if you go uh, overseas for your treatment uh, their standards of uh, hygiene might be somewhat lower than in your own home country and of course there can be post-operative complications again just like with any other type of surgery something could go wrong afterwards there could be some other type of complication uh, that has to be taken into consideration so there is always a big risk with cosmetic surgery just like there is with any other type of surgery and of course it can be disappointing. You might have some idea in your mind as to how you're going to look after the surgery, but it doesn't come out the way that you thought. And it can be disappointing. You might think that uh, actually you look worse after having cosmetic surgery, especially if something goes wrong during the surgery and it doesn't come out as well as you might like. So it can be disappointing. And of course, it can leave you open to ridicule. People who didn't know you before the surgery, well, they won't know any different. But people who did know you, well, they might think you're being vain or frivolous. So you do have to take that into consideration as well. The thing is, though, you don't have to go under the knife to improve your appearance. And there are some things that you can do to make yourself look younger without having to resort to cosmetic surgery. And the first thing and probably the easiest thing that you can do is to change the way you dress. So update your wardrobe to something more contemporary, but choose clothing that someone 10 years younger than you would wear. And that might mean, you know, if you're a guy, it might mean wearing a different tie width than you might usually wear. Or if you're a girl, it might mean wearing a different skirt length than you might usually wear. But something that someone who's, say, 10 years younger than you is going to wear is going to, by default, make people think that you're a bit younger too. Then you can update your hairstyle. And you know, your hair grows and it needs cutting every so often, even if you wear it long. So if you've had the same hairdo for more than five years, then ask your stylist for something more contemporary and just update it so that you appear to be more in tune with current trends. And if your hair is going gray, well, diet and that applies to guys as much as it does to girls you know gray hair might suit George Clooney but that doesn't go for everybody so if your hair's going gray then you should dye it back to the color that it was before or maybe even choose something completely different but if you do decide to dye your hair then be sure to choose a product that only covers the gray and doesn't strip out all of the natural oils if you wear glasses, then you should get more fashionable frames. You should always have your eyes checked every few years anyway. And when you do and you choose another pair of glasses, choose something that's a bit more updated. Don't ask your uh, optometrist to simply put your new lenses in your old frames. Have something new, have something that's a bit more up to date. And if you're a woman who wears makeup, then update your look to the latest techniques you know have a chat with the lady on the makeup counter at the store where you buy your cosmetics and ask her about the latest techniques and a lot of cosmetic houses do actually run classes which show you how to apply their makeup in the latest way and quite often they're free because they're designed to uh, try and sell you more cosmetics but at least you'll know exactly how things are done these days and you'll keep up to date with the latest techniques and something else you should do, be you male or female, is to moisturize. Make sure you get lots of moisturizer onto your skin because a healthy looking skin can take years off of you. 
And you should also moisturize your hands as well as your face. So many times people will look young in the face, but when you look at their hands, it's always a dead giveaway. So moisturize your hands as well as your face. Now, browsing fashion magazines is a great way to keep on top of what's hot right now. So be sure to stop by your local newsstand or your local news agent regularly and catch up on the latest ideas. So is cosmetic surgery worth it? Well, that depends. Depends how you feel about it and also depends on whether or not you've tried some of the other techniques we've talked about in this video. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.